Hello and welcome to this Dr. Osmas key skill video on interpreting a bar chart. Now a bar chart is an example of a frequency diagram and that means that on this vertical axis we have frequency. That's just short for frequency. And frequency just means how many of that type of thing you have. It just means how many. So if example shows you, if you're asking people what their favourite colour was, how many people liked red, how many people liked orange, how many people liked green. So let's read off these values on the frequency axis. How many people like orange? So here is the people who are liked orange. And we go up to the top of the bar and we can see as we go across, that's halfway between 8 and 10. So nine people liked orange, that is the frequency. How many more people liked green than red? Well, sometimes it's helpful to actually write the frequencies on the bar. So if we look at red, we go up, we can see from the top, four people liked red. So I'm just gonna write that on the bar. And then green, go to the top of the bar, go across, six people liked green. So how many more people liked green than red? Well, we just have to find the difference to find how many more there is of one thing than the other. So six minus four is two. Now with this second bar graph, we've actually got two sets of data. And if you look at this key, you can see we've got boys. Those are the shaded bars. And we've got the girls, which are the non-shaded bars according to this key here. Now the question is asking how many girls were there? So again, we can use this strategy on the left where we can write the numbers on the bars. So we're looking at the unshaded bars because that's the girls there, you can see from the key. And we want the total number of girls, like the total frequency. So look at this first bar. How many girls got six marks out of 10? If we go to the top of the bar, we can see that's 20. In fact, let's write it just down here. How many girls got seven marks? go to the top of that girl bar there and we can see it's halfway between 14 and 60 which is 50. How many girls got eight? Go to the top of that girl bar we can see that's a hundred girls there. The next one nine out of ten marks go to the top of that bar that's halfway between 100 and 120 which is 110 and finally how many girls got ten full marks? Go to the top of that girl bar we can see that is 80. And then you just have to add those together to get the total number of girls, and that gives you 360 girls.